Yeah. What's happening? It was cracking. We about to get into this reaction. But before we get into this reaction, I want y'all to go like, comment, subscribe to who is Quincy. Do all those great things. It literally takes you five, ten seconds. It really don't take you long. Just go right here. Hit the red, hit the red subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. Like I said. Don't take you long at all. So just do that and then go on over right here to the Instagram. Follow, like, comment. Do the same. Do the same. So we're going to get into this video about uh, allegedly Argonaut Cena again. Is you know what? I'm not trying to get demonetized, but hey, you know, he got them hands put on, got laid down, blood lip, and all that. Mm. Nasty, but hey, uh, Tori Lanes allegedly beat the man up. But we're gonna get into the video. Uh, it's <laughs> these RB rappers, RB, I mean, and rappers, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I mean, RB people beating up each other, rappers getting killed, rest in peace, PNB rock. Um, it just been a lot of crazy stuff going on lately. But let's get into this video and see what allegedly took place. I, oh yeah, and this alpha academics page, so we're gonna do a reaction off of off of his channel. You dig? <laughs> He's in there looking like Like, he is shocked. The man just walked past him, ain't shake his hand, ain't acknowledge him. Nigga, like, I don't see you. We don't see small people. Allegedly, like, real short. So, maybe he ain't see, he was looking up above him. Like, like he don't acknowledge no children. I did get it. Damn. Don't do it. You knock his ass out, Tori. You knock him out. Tori said he just knocked out his ass. See the ass right out. One punch, crunched him, Tori. He said he wanted to punch him. Tori said he wanted to punch him. Look at him. Look at him. He's blind. Look at him. 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 It was sad at first, but I guess when you knock a nigga out, you get happy. <laughs> he got happy, he got energetic. Give me a high five. <laughs> Lord for will, man. People. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen, August Alcina finally got hands and feet put on him. And it wasn't and it by was Will, Will Smith. Smith. <laughs> okay, it was by somebody that looked that more like Carlton Banks than Will, okay? Now, obviously, Will ain't really got no strength for nobody other than Chris Rock. But the person we all know he was really mad at was really August Alcina. August Alcina was punching dick in his bed for like three years straight. Talking about an entanglement, red table talks. We know why you mad, brother. And by the way, you should be mad, okay? Now, I news mean, came out, and actually, matter, matter of fact, forget the news, August Alcina just posted it, okay? He posted himself looking like a corpse in like an elevator with his mouth bloody, and he described his attacker as a 4 foot 11 leprechaun looking dude with a ball spot, okay? He actually even named him later. He said it was Tory Lanez, okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll read what he said. He said, yo, listen, I why would you post that? I mean, like, literally, that's definitely clout chaser. Why would you post that? If it did happen, handle that shit behind the scenes. Why y'all niggas posting all this stuff? That's clout chasing. I mean, I, I mean, sadly enough, you don't hear too much about August Asino. And besides the entanglement or anything like that, something dealing with Jada and Will Smith. But you don't hear anything about his music these days. Maybe he got an album coming. Who knows? That's probably why he 
posted this picture, but that picture that's 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 weird to post a picture like that for real. I'm exiting, I'm exiting the, the building, building after, after the show the last night, night and a four eleven size leprechaun ran, ran down on me with eight oversized security dudes, dudes who I greeted each individually upon, upon their walk up as they tried to press me. Whole time I'm one deep no security. Tori continues to ask the broken eagle why I dap him up. I go and tell him I was I I was a fan of him and I didn't understand him speaking about business publicly. Because, because I, nigga, you put your your business publicly. You put that out. You made a whole song. And you spoke on interviews. So how nobody ain't speak? Uh, he can't speak on your business publicly that you posted and you talked about and you did a uh, 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 media run on it. That's crazy. I don't even know. I never met until last night. So when he spoke, it caught me off guard because of his past actions. I assume he didn't like me that saw, not to mention with my history of health and condition. Just recently overcome being paralyzed. My doctor directed me not to compromise my health while on the road and shake as less hands as possible due to corona and monkeypox. And I gotta say, God damn it, man. You know you caught a severe case of the beats where you, you're blaming the ass whipping? Okay, or you're blaming what caused the ass whooping on basically a doctor's note. Talking about, oh, no, no, my doctor said don't shake nobody head. Cut it out. Okay, you perform with a bunch of people, you can't shake nobody head. Just say you ain't want to shake it, which you did actually say. So I'm going to give you the credit for that. Anyway. Um, I didn't talk to Tori. Tori said that. I mean, he could have just well, the video came out spoken okay, the video came out. But maybe it, showcase maybe, incident where Tori, maybe he was in a hurry or whatever. Maybe he ain't feel like talking or none of that stuff. But even if you ain't want to shake no hands, you act like the person. He wasn't there. You could have just gave a pound and kept going, or been like, "Hey, I can't shake hands." You know, no, I've been sick. But much love. He didn't do none of that. Act like he wasn't there. He was actually like he was, he was left handed. And it looked like maybe they went to a uh, uh, August Alcina, and looked like, who knows, maybe he knocked him out. I don't know. Now, I got to be honest with y'all. They got to be more than August Alcina's side to the story because it would be an idiotic move on Tory's part to just randomly, unprovokedly. That's true too. A artist, or he got this court stuff going on. While you're saying he's for that man. whole mag shoot, exactly. You're looking for any reason the exactly. was violent. It's, it could have been that cool case from all these people, man. man. You trying to lock another black man up? Beat up people randomly. That would be very stupid, right? Which leads me to say this. Uh, I hope it's not because dude they give him a dap. Okay, maybe they had a conversation after the dude they give him a dap, and. I'm hoping for Tory's sake, okay, that maybe August Alcina said something that maybe then it went left. Because honestly, if you're unprovokedly just running around beating people up, you clearly just don't know what the room temperature is right now, okay? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. August Alcina, I think, you know, because of his health issues, we all look at him like, you know, he's kind of frail, you know what I mean? Like, bro, like, to keep it real. Uh, this don't even look fair. And to keep it real, yeah. Tory's the mention in this one, okay? But we got to just be honest. August Alcina used to be one of them dudes. Like, he one of them army thugs. He used to be with the shits, okay? So, in reality, um, it was interesting for me to see him just explain the whole situation on Twitter or on Instagram and basically call names, especially knowing that dude is actually, you know, got a case that he's facing. Now, Thanks, because... If you was a street dude and hate that he's sick or whatever and going through his sickness and all that stuff, but I mean, you don't, you know you you ain't supposed to be posting that. You know you ain't supposed to be talking about that type of stuff over the internet. If you a street dude like he say he was and all this type of stuff, then why why post that? I don't get that. That's why I don't get, and I don't like that he posted that. Even if it is true. Now, if you're going to do all this, August Alcina, why not just press charges? Why not just sue him? Like, you're pretty much spelling it out, okay? So, again, it's interesting some of the R&B thugs that, listen, if you don't know about August Alcina's reputation, Google it. He went from beating up everybody before he got sick 
to now somebody beat him up. I he's remember telling that. the whole team. I remember you know that. I mean, he sounded more like academics than an R&B thug, but it is what it is. Regardless, Tory, keep your goddamn hands to yourself if you want to stay free, and you should be having the fingers crossed, hoping that you beat this case. For However. Real. August, you gotta be, you gotta have some security, brother. I'm hoping he ain't like, it's a reason why Tory's running around with like five huge dudes. Pause, okay? You gotta have some security. And to Tory's case, I know you've been blackballed for a long time. So these days, you don't know if people are friend or foe, okay? Because a lot of people have acted funny with Tory. Some of them don't want to put him on songs. Some of them don't want to perform in the same venues you know, with him. And then, what you can understand, nobody don't want to put you on a song if you did that. That's wild. If you did that. I can understand that because they don't want to be attached to that and you be found guilty and all this type of stuff. Just like anybody that's seen here trying to openly have R. Kelly on the song. <laughs> nobody trying to do that. Ain't nobody trying to do that. Nobody want that heat. Nobody want that pressure. Nobody want to do that. It's been trying to like, you know, almost shorten his money for a while. So when he sees somebody try to play him. He's, He's going to feel, feel angry about it, about but he, he can't, can't be reacting like that. No matter what, he cannot be reacting like that. And all I'm going to say is that, listen, why wasn't Will... Yo, Will Smith, man, you better have some money on Tory books if you get in trouble for this, okay? Will, this is what you wanted to do, brother, okay? Except you couldn't really take the frustration out of the dude punching dick in your bed. You actually slapped Chris Rock. This is who you really wanted to slap. We got to just call a spade a spade. Regardless, I think yo, I think everybody catches an L, even Jada, okay, just by proximity. And I'm going to give I'm gonna give Will a, a, a lowercase W. I'm going to give him a lowercase W because even though he ain't slide, somebody will slide in, okay? Anyway, get a comment. I expect you guys like them, subscribe. What do you think about the whole thing? That's crazy. That's wild. I mean, look. I can see them going to have a conversation, and I, I, I think the conversation went left, and that's why it happened the way it happened. But other than that, I mean, I don't get why he posted that. I don't get why he posted that, especially if it happened. Why you post that? I mean, I know you got a lot of stuff coming. They said something uh, particular. He put a brand name in a hashtag. To something that he coming. But that's very clout chasing. Do you agree or not agree? Uh, put it in the comments if you agree, disagree, whatever. Just do it. But I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, he can't just go around punching people because he going through a serious case right now. And that could affect his whole livelihood and send him back to Canada. So that's very serious. So hopefully it ain't just that. But hey. It is what it is. But like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe right here. Playlist right here. More videos right here. To another video. Yeah. Well, you know we gotta go. Holly.